You're standing in a line. And at the front of this line is a huge door that everyone wants to get through. Now you look behind you and the line is so long that you don't even know where the line ends. But when you look in front of you, there are only two people. Suddenly, the door begins to rumble and the door flies open. Now out comes all of this white light, all of these sparkly shooting stars and all this glitter is just illuminating. And the person who's set to run through, they hesitate. They get a little nervous, they get a little scared. They start looking around, trying to see who's watching them. And suddenly, boom, the door closes. Two security guards come out and they begin to escort the person off. But the person is screaming and yelling and flailing, let me go, let me go. I want to run through the door, make it open again. And that's when they informed that person, you missed it and now you have to start over. So that person got escorted off and the door began to rumble again. And it busts open. And again, the lights and the glitter shot out. And the person who was in front of you ran through. And as soon as they did, boom, the door closed. Now you turn and you looked around with anticipation because you knew if that door opened once, it was going to open again. But the next time that door opened, it was going to be your turn. What's up, everybody? I hope you're excited because you are next. Imagine right now you are standing at the door and at any given moment, the biggest door of your life is about to happen. And it's not just about walking through the door. It's about all the spectacular things that are waiting for you on the other side, okay? So you can be like person one and hesitate, or you can be like person two and run through it. But the choice is up to you. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down several different aspects of this dream that I had. And then we're going to be taking it over to the Patreon to break it down even further. Right here on YouTube, we're going to be focusing on these red messages. And then over on the Patreon, we're going to be talking about these golden nuggets of information there are five more messages for patreon so make sure you guys click the link in the description box and choose at least the dream juice tier to get the extended video for this message or for this dream now let us go ahead and get started right here on youtube as you guys can see there are three numbers on the screen i want you to choose the one that you feel most drawn to and of course you can listen to all of them but the number that you choose just may be a little bit more highlighted in your life at this time so, without further ado, let's get to these messages. All right, if you chose number one, your message is about the door itself. And of course, when I say door, you can probably understand that I'm saying opportunity, okay? An opportunity of a lifetime or just something that you've never done before, you've never been presented with, or something you've done before, but now it comes back on an even larger or more grand scale, okay? This is a portal to your brand new life, all right? Now, this door also represents an opportunity or a place where many, many people want to be, okay? It can also represent you are the next type of, okay? Let me give you an example. You're the next Bill Gates. You're the next LeBron. You're the next... Oprah, okay, so you might not be next to do a specific thing as opposed to you might be the next type of person or you might be the next big thing. Your fashion may be the next big trend, okay? Now, on a, you know, a personal individual scale, some of you all, this may be um, you walking through the door to be a millionaire, millionaire status. You're walking through the door of your dream job, of a marriage, of your travel destination, okay? A special event, a movie role, okay? You could become walking through the door of a business owner. Some of you guys can be opening actual doors of a home, okay? Or, or any type of building. Now, the timing of this door is not on you. So for those of you all who are trying to beat doors down and trying to rip doors open, the way this thing is going to happen is going to be beyond your control. Okay, just like that person who got carted off, person number one who, who hesitated, they, they can't control, the security guys can't control when this door opens and when this door closes. 
okay? So the timing is not up to you. Some of y'all want things to happen right now, but it's not time yet, okay? You can't go before your time, and if you go after the door closes, you miss it. So you, you're in perfect timing, okay? This is divine timing. A lot of you guys are walking into supernatural timing, okay? But again, these are things that are beyond your control, and you can't go ahead of it, all right? Now, the other thing about this door, once you walk through it, that's it. There is no turning back. You won't be able to be on that side and then, and I, I, I see it like this. When you walk through the door, if you turn back around, the door is gone. There is no door. There is not even a way to get back to that old reality. So for some of you guys, once you become a, um, a business owner, that's it. You're going to be a business owner for the rest of your life. And then your kids and your grandkids and your great grandkids, all of them going to fall in line. Okay. Once you become a millionaire, that's it. You're going to be a millionaire for the rest of your life. You know what I mean? Once you um, do whatever it is you were going into, whatever business, whatever fashion, whatever it was you were trying to do, you're going to be able to do that for the rest of your life. This door is also representing a lot of you guys walking into your purpose. Okay. So this door is a connection to your purpose. And also, your life is going to change once you walk through this door because you're going from a state of waiting, being patient, uh, staying in your position, you know, hope and anticipation to actually living the manifestation. So your activity, your day to day activities may change. Your um, your level of income may change, but it's just all dependent upon you being able to adjust. OK, to the new um, lifestyle because you're no longer waiting. You're going from waiting to enjoying. Um, think about if you're at an amusement park, you're waiting in the line to get to this ride. But once you get on the ride, you're no longer waiting. The whole thing changes. What happens next changes. Okay. You're going from waiting. That's boring to riding the ride. And that's exciting. Okay. So the door, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to the next one. All right, if you chose number two, we are talking about, and I got the title, he who hesitates, he who hesitates, okay? So we're talking about that first person. This is either someone around you or people around you that you may soon meet who have missed their door. They missed their opportunity or they quit right before the breakthrough came, okay? Um, they had the opportunity, but they let it pass them by. They were scared and they were fearful. But in um, in the dream, this person was like laughing a little bit. They were It was like a nervous laughter, um, but they were like, oh, I'm going to walk through the door. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to walk through the door. He, ha, ha. But they were nervous and they were scared. This represents people in your life who talk a good game, but deep down inside, they would never go up there and do that or they would never try that you know but just around you guys oh yeah no oh, i can do this i'll do that i'll do this i'll do that but the opportunities have come to them but they were too afraid to take them so then what happens then they start talking about the shoulda coulda wouldas you know some of them start i shoulda coulda woulda did this i shoulda coulda woulda did that or they start to complain about the people who are doing it. Oh, they're not doing it good. They're not doing it right. See, if I was doing it, I would have did it like this. Uh, I seen somebody post something the other day that really grinded my gears. They said, if, if I had Tyler Perry money, I would make way more better movies than him. It's like, okay, well, you know, Tyler Perry got it out the mud, right? So the same way he got the money to shoot his movies, you can go make that same money and shoot the movies yourself. But instead of doing that, you want to roast the person who did it. Meanwhile, this person is somewhere in the upper echelon on a yacht, not caring, not even hearing you while you're down here with the rest of the crabs in the barrel complaining. OK, and it really grinded my gears. It's just like, how can you even fix your lips to talk about somebody who did? it? I would have made better movies than them. OK, they're going to make better movies then. But, you know, anyway, that's people number one. Uh, some of these people are going to die with their dreams inside of them. They're going to continuously look at the people who are doing it and they're going to be mad. They're going to be upset. They're going to talk about them, but they're never going to fulfill what they wanted to fulfill. Don't let that be you. OK, and don't let the people who are like that around you drag you down. 
Um, some of these people had the opportunities and they lost it because of their own bad attitude, because of their own big mouth, because of, you know, something bad that they did. They didn't do something by integrity. They got put on blast, exposed, and everything came crashing down. And they never had that opportunity again. Because in a dream, remember I told you about that security, the two security guards escorting that person off? So to me, that represents for some of the people who you may encounter or you may have already encountered, this is that like they had they got their dreams ripped or snatched from them because of something that they did illegally or against they wasn't being honest about something and it all came crashing down and they really really did want to have this opportunity they really did want to keep their dream but they got dragged off and now they have to start over from scratch and the main point of this one is they don't feel like starting over from scratch so they're just going to watch all the other people but deep down inside, still be kind of bitter about the fact that they lost what they had. Okay, I hope that made sense. So, I got a never recovered. Okay, these are the people who, who fell off and they never recovered. Okay, so when that door opened and it was time for them to go through, they didn't go through. Because either they were scared or they, they thought they had enough time. They thought they had more time. It's like if the opportunity is right there, it's on you to take it right then and there. Don't go sleep on the opportunity. Don't go think about it. If you've already thought about it and it presents itself to you, then that's probably your, your moment, okay? So, he who has a taste gets escorted off by security, and you got to start all the way over. Don't let that be you. Let's get to the next one. If you chose number three, we got to talk about all of the people behind you, okay? Now, this is people in your life or people who just know you, who know you got next. Oh, you next. You ever seen somebody on TV and you be like, oh, yeah, they the next LeBron or, or she the next Beyonce. You know they got next. Like, who's the next best artist? Who's the next best uh, athlete? You know, you look and you be like, they got next. So what y'all need to know is y'all got people that looking at you right now, either in your face or from afar, saying, oh, I know they next. Okay? So they can sense or they can feel or they know they're back. They're in the line too. remember this line. A lot of people want this opportunity. They want to be next. They want to walk through this door, but they're behind you. So that means they have to watch you go through first. So these people are watching um, and they can sense and feel that this door is getting ready to open for you. All right. So some people may be having dreams about you, word of mouth about you, any of that kind of stuff. They're going to see you walk through. Now, this is where we get a little spicy because I got the word acclaim. That was the word, right? So it might be a public event or some type of public acclaim. So acclaim is praise enthusiastically and publicly. But when I was looking up acclaim to make sure I had the definition correct, uh, another word popped up that I was like, wow. And it, like, it struck me. And it was accolade. So some of you guys are about to get your accolades, right? This is an acknowledgement or an award or privilege granted as a special honor. Okay, but then it had a second definition, a touch on a person's shoulder with the sword at the bestowing of a knighthood. So you know how that king or queen or the high ranking person, they take that, um, that sword and they say, I knight you this or blah, blah, blah. And they do it on each shoulder and, and the person gets crowned or whatever. They, they go to the next level. They walk through the door. Okay, so a lot of you guys are about to get knighted. All right. But it will be public. So maybe for some of y'all, that could be like graduation. They hand you your diploma or, um, you know, for how some people, they get the keys to their place, like the realtor hands it to them and they record it for social media or something like that. But you're about to be knighted. Something that's about to be bestowed upon you in your honor. OK, now they are going to see this. And you're going to have the people who are happy for you because they figure, listen, if the door opens for you. If you go through and the next person go through and the next person, eventually it's going to be my turn. But then there are those people who are going to watch and they're not going to be so happy. They don't want you to go first. They don't, they don't care if you go through, but the simple fact that they have to watch. Okay. Can you imagine somebody I don't like, uh, I'm going to go to their graduation and everybody's going to be clapping for this person. And I have to sit here and I have to clap too, even though I don't want to, because if I don't clap, then I look like I'm hating and da 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 da. Okay. That's how this person feels, but we're going to be getting a little bit deeper into that on the Patreon. So they're jealous of your position. Somebody wants to be in your position. They want to be next. 
or they want to be the first of, you know, the group of people that you're around to do what you're about to do. Okay. So someone is jealous of your position. We're going to be talking about the jealousy and we're also going to be talking about the position over on Patreon. But as far as this one, you got the people who are behind you and the ones who are maybe happy for you. Um, and the ones who are going to then be inspired to walk through the door because of you. All right. So that's what I get for number three. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. All right, guys, so I hope you are taking this time seriously. Your opportunity of a lifetime is about to present itself to you. For a lot of you guys, you're going to know immediately. But for the others, you're going to have to start preparing your mind, body, and spirit and getting up those powers of discernment so you can discern what is the real deal opportunity and what is just something that you can let pass by. So don't forget to click the link in the description box. We are headed on over to Patreon because I have to break these things down a little bit further. I want to talk about that other person who was in front of you, okay? The person who actually walked through the door. We talked about the person who hesitated, but that person who actually made it through the door, they are significant. We're going to be talking about the people in the line who are jealous of you. See, here on YouTube, we talked about the people who are happy for you, who are going to watch you get your accolades, who are going to cheer, and it's going to be genuine. But there are going to be some people who are jealous of that position, that was some of the people who were behind you. Then we need to talk about why this door only opens for one person at a time. This dream or to be the next of whatever you're about to be the next of, it's only one by one. Why is that? We'll talk about it on Patreon. Now, remember all those sparkly lights coming out of the, the door when the door opens and all of the glitter and the laser beams and stuff, the light show? We're going to be talking about the light and what that means. Then we're going to be talking about your excitement, your anticipation, and what you should be doing as you're waiting for this door to open. So click the link in the description box, choose at least the Dream Juice tier, and go see the extended of these messages. And if this is where it ends for you, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your likes, your subscribes, your shares. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.